Welcome back to day eight of the 30 day coding challenge. Today, we're gonna to be using an API to build this advice generator. If you're new here, hi, my name's Zoe. I'm a software engineer and former university professor that loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in starting a career in web development, check that first link in the description below. But without further ado, let's hop into day eight of the challenge. All right, so this is a really simple design. We're not gonna spend too much time focused on the design today. We're really building this to ch challenge ourselves by working with an API. So, um, yeah, basically what happens here, you have a piece of advice that's gonna show up and then when you click this dice, it's gonna roll and you're gonna get another randomized piece of advice. Now again, I got this design from Front End Mentor. Um, this is another one of their free challenges. So if you wanna go ahead and follow along, I'll leave a link to this design down in the description below. Um, so the first things first, just looking at the information they provide here, they actually give you the API that they want you to work with, which is basically what's gonna give us our advice. So when I open up the API in a separate tab, um, or the documentation, I should say, it's gonna tell me exactly what I need to know in terms of how to use it, how to grab a specific piece of advice by ID, if I can even search the advice, if I wanna do that. We're gonna do a more random piece, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna use the, the first um, endpoint that they provide here. But um, one great thing you can do when you're checking to see if something works, just go ahead and open up the URL in another tab, and you'll see if it's actually working. And this will actually show you also the structure of the data so you know how to actually query it and get the actual piece of advice more easily, actually. Um, and yeah, if you refresh, you'll see you get a new piece of advice every time so you know that it's working correctly. Awesome. So I've gone ahead and spun up an app just um, again using that starter that I'll link in the description below. Um, so let's hop in there and get started. I've also taken the assets from the, um, they give you a like a starter kit when you work with front end mentor, they give you like some starter assets. Um, and so you can use that as well um, from them. So I dropped that in the app already. So first things first, clean up these styles. Uh, oops, clean up this style. And the background color for this is gonna be, I think this dark blue. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and set the body, the HTML to be, oops, have a background color of dark blue. Awesome, I'll leave that alone. And then we'll get onto the actual design. All right, so it looks like basically we have this card in the middle and that's gonna be our advice. So I'm gonna create a folder, components. And again, it's probably gonna have just one file in here and I'm just gonna say advice. And I'm gonna bring this advice component into here. So I'll say add, whoops, I should also actually create it, but I'm gonna bring advice in here. And that's basically gonna be the structure of the app. Um, another thing I do need to do actually is um, set the, uh, center it, center it in the page. So we'll say center, center and uh, height is gonna be 98. All right, now we can go back to our advice. So yeah, for the advice, again, we're using Material UI here. So I'm gonna use a box from Material UI, basically just a div that allows us to use their special properties. And we see it in the middle there, perfect. So we're gonna use this as the background color for our advice. Um, what is that, a, a grayish blue? Yes, that's a grayish blue. So that's gonna be our background color here. So I'll say background, oops, background color is going to be grayish blue. Um, and then what else do we need? We need some sort of like button here. And then we're gonna grab, I guess the piece of advice, maybe the ID will be the number and then the actual advice itself there. Um, and then this button is gonna be our trigger button. Okay, so we'll drop in a couple of typography elements. So we'll start with that. Let's say typography. And it's going to be advice, advice, number, and then uh, I'm gonna say const, I'm just gonna set a variable. We're gonna say um, ID equals zero. Um, and we'll say ID for now. We're gonna structure it differently once we set it up. Um, and then we're gonna have a second typography element, which is going to be, um, it's just gonna be advice. And we'll say const advice equals a string. And so we have the base set up there. 
Uh, we also have this like HR. I'm wondering if this is an image that they provide to us. Pattern divider. Yeah, they do have a, div a divider. So I'm just gonna copy this path and see what it looks like. So we'll drop that in here. We'll say image from next image. And the source is going to be that. And the alt is going to be uh, divider. And then the height is going to be 16. Width is going to be, I don't know, let's say 196. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure what they're giving us exactly. Um, okay, so it's just that. So it's going to be 20. Um, All right, so we'll put that there. Um, and then we have the die, the, die, the die button at the bottom. So we'll say button. Um, background color is going to be neon green. Cool. And then within the button, oh, we should also import the button from somewhere. Within the button, we're gonna have the die. So we'll say image, from next image, um, copy relative path, source equals that. And we'll say the alt, alt equals dice icon height is going to be 24 width is going to be 24 i'll save that and oh source there we go perfect mm, what else oh we need it to be um top down so we'll say uh, display flex flex direction column Save that, looking good. And then the button itself, max width is going to be 64. Uh, just 4M, oops, 4M, max height, 4M, save that. And we'll say, a little bit of padding. Okay, and then we'll say border radius 58%. Cool, got a little circle button there. Awesome. Um, what else do we need? I think maybe an HR, a horizontal rule. I don't know if that's gonna look great. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Um, so let's do that. Let's do. Let's make a box and make the two little HRs there. Uh, what did I say? One ninety six. Ninety six. Oops. Um, make a second one. Or no, we also need the color. What's the color of that? Grayish blue. Oh, does it blend in now? What is the back? Oh yeah, it's the same as the background color, so that's not gonna show up. Um, so this must be dark grayish blue. That's 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 what that is. Yeah, that must be dark grayish blue. Yeah, there it is. 
Oh, okay, they're already there. I don't need to worry about creating a horizontal rule. Just couldn't see them. All right, cool, get rid of this box. Awesome, makes my life easier, perfect. Um, width then is going to be, oops, did I accidentally delete it? Width is going to be, Cool, perfect, perfect. All right, awesome. Looking pretty good. Um, flex direction column, uh, align items whoops, to the center. So they're all lined up nicely in the center. Good, and then we'll throw in some padding and that'll pretty much be our styling. Um, this is gonna be neon green. This is gonna be light cyan. Um, and then this is going to have 24 on top. 24 on top, or let's say 24 below the advice. Then we could translate the button down as well. We could say position absolute, or we could say relative um, top. Then we have our button there. Awesome. Um, and the corner radius, all right. Uh, border radius, 50 pixels. Okay, good to go, good to go here. So yeah, let's hook it up to the API now. So what we wanna do for our API, so we already know which API we're using, obviously. Um, it's gonna be this URL here, right? We're gonna perform a get on this URL. So a couple ways we could do it. We could do it in a use effect or we could try and put it into a function. Let's, let's try put it into a function. If not, we'll put it in a use effect. So we'll say const get advice. And we'll say um, fetch this, then response. We want to turn it into JSON. Then we want to take that data and we want to set our data. So let's create const. Um, data, const um, advice data, or then, um, yeah, let's call it advice data, set advice data, data equals use state. And we'll initialize it to be ID is zero, advice is an empty string. And we'll say set advice data to be data. We'll save that. And then we'll also uh, turn this into a client component so it doesn't complain. Cool. And again, you don't need to do that if you're not using this starter kit. That's just a quirk from it. So we're going to fetch it. We're going to take the response, turn the response to JSON. 
then get the data from the JSONified data from that and then set the advice data to that. And so in theory, on click, we want to do this. So we'll say on click, uh, get advice. And that should be it. So now if I console.log um, advice data, let's see what happens. Inspect console. Um, okay. Ah, nice. So we get slip advice ID. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what the slip is for, but we'll go with that. So it's working. We're getting what we want here. So what we want to do now is we want to do two things. We want to create a use effect and we'll say, um, so when we start up, we want to just call get advice. So we get an initial piece of advice. And then here we actually want to take advice data dot ID, although it's going to be, it's going to be dot slip dot ID. Not, let's see, how can we do this? Yeah, I guess dot slip dot ID, slip dot ID. Um, so we'll say slip just because that's how it comes back from the API. We'll save that. Cool, not slip dot ID. And then we'll do advice data dot slip dot advice. We'll save that. Cool, so we can get rid of these two placeholders. Mm, and that should work, so let's try it here. So if I refresh, if you find yourself distressed about something, ask yourself, it will still matter tomorrow or next week or next month, advice number 133. If I press the button, awesome, we get it again. Perfect. So seems to be pretty wor working pretty well. I think the only thing we might want to do is just put a max width and maybe touch up the styling here. So we can say max width is 540. So we'll say max width 540 pixels. And make this into, turn it into slight cyan already. What? Quote 28. Okay. So we'll say mm -hmm. add font weight and then uh, text align. And then the other little thing is that it puts it in quotes. So we'll add a quote. Oh, that's going to make it difficult, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll do this. Okay. So quote there. And yeah, that looks pretty decent. I think we're good there. So yeah. So yeah, we made our advice gener. So yeah, basically just to go over what we did here, right? We initialized advice. And again, this is a lot of TypeScript stuff. You don't necessarily need to do it if you're not using TypeScript, but we created a function that allowed us to fetch and get advice um, that set our advice data to what we got from that, um, that API. And then we called it once when our page loaded so that we would get the advice initially when the app started up. But then we set our button, our on click for our button to be just calling that function of get advice and setting our variable to get that advice. And we have our advice data here. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and I'll link the rest of the videos in this challenge right up here so you can check them out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.